Hello future ALTs, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share 10 tips while you wait for your flight to Japan. Unfortunately, this pandemic has been canceling and postponing flights to Japan. However, let's remember that new things come to those who wait. If you are new here, I create videos about teaching in Japan, living in Japan, and eating in Japan. Let's go straight to number one. Study Japanese, including hiragana and katakana. At first, I just use a phone app to memorize katakana in and hiragana. It's kind of difficult to read books without listening to local people speaking Japanese. Just use a phone app, make sure you can memorize not everything about katakana and hiragana, but at least the basic ones. Because you are going to memorize it when you get here. So at least you would have maybe half of them memorized. Uh, you can also use Anki app. It's an application to memorize things, and it's called Anki. Uh, Anki is like a repetition memory uh, game or application. <laughs> it's a repetition game. Ah. Now, this studying of Japanese will help you be less anxious when you are here in Japan. Let's move on to tip number two. Now, tip number two would be watching anime or reading manga. So, this would be a supplement to your basic Japanese. And tip number one, it would increase your shadowing and listening skills. Now, I would say that I have a story uh, last year because this is my second year. Oh, this is my third year ready for now. I was maybe in my third month of my first year in the apartment of my friend who is also an ALT and there's a Japanese there. And I was able to say the words, Hondo desu ka? Which I actually just heard from the anime and just repeated and shadowed it. And then he said like, eh, How long have you been here in Japan? And I said, oh, this is my first year. And he said like, oh, you, you sound like you have been here for four years or five years. You have a good pronunciation and intonation of that. And they said, oh, really? I just used anime and watch anime and just repeated what I heard from anime. So that's it. So I kind of gave an impression to the people that you really want to blend into their culture. Tip number three, study Japanese culture. Now this might be broad, but make sure you can say something about Japan if you are asked. Now this would be like first week when you're in schools and they would ask like, oh, why Japan? So make sure you can answer it very quickly. And I would recommend that you focus on uh, Japanese food, anime, and of course some things that, Jap uh, that Japan has that your country doesn't have. Tip number four, watch videos about ALTs or some instructionals or tutorials. Now, hindi ito yung para ingitin yung sarili mo. Please do subscribe to my channel if you find this useful to you. Tip number five, make a list of things to buy and things to bring. There's a no-brainer. If you travel a lot, you know what things you need to bring and what things you need to buy. But if you're coming from the Philippines, I would highly suggest that you bring canned goods and your favorite noodles. Pang tawid guto mito. So, don't bring thick jackets. Um, make sure you would have enough food for your first two or three months. Uh, while you wait for your first salary uh, interact lang and i also mentioned this one in my previous videos about bringing a lot of canned goods and doodles tip number six make a list of food from your home country that are not in japan so bring your favorite snacks or chichiria uh, bring your favorite noodles so your first month will be like hell and homesickness will hit you hard so bring one okay okay I would recommend a sachet of suka patis toyo because they are not here. Uh, although they are here, but on your first month or your first three weeks, you cannot see these Philippine stores or you cannot see these um, Brazilian stores. So that you can buy the Asian uh, condiments or ricados. Now, don't cook adobo with their suka and toyo here. Um, Ibang iba lasa. <laughs> Tip number seven. While you wait, practice cooking in your home country. Now this is my Waterloo. I always depend on my mother and my big bro. Hello there. I know how to cook. Pritong itlog, pritong isda, and so on. No, just kidding. <laughs> Marunong po ako mag, uh, magluto. So I can cook adobo, inolang manok, and inununan if you know inununan from Visayas. Uh, but I don't practice cooking because they are way better than me in terms of cooking. So no practice. Pagdating dito nga nga. So these things, if you don't know how to cook, um, it would add to your stress and of course your homesickness. So please do practice cooking 
while you're in the Philippines. Now tip number eight, prepare your PowerPoint for your self-introduction. On my end, I prepared a PowerPoint for my self-introduction and that would be the soft copy. Now I also had a hard copy in case there would be no projector or no TV available in that school. So when you are hired by Interact, I don't know if you're from Jet or from other companies, you won't know right away the school that you will be into. You don't know if they all have the resources. But I am 99% that all these schools have magnetic blackboards. Make sure you have a hard copy and a soft copy of your self-introduction. You're gonna do that on your first week. Well, shout out to Micah Sensei. Uh, she helped me have the hard copies printed. But I wasn't able to use the hard copy because my school was a bit of the high-tech side. <laughs> Now, one thing about self-introduction, practice speaking slowly, practice using simple sentences, not like me. And of course, when you, self, when you introduce your home country, make sure you are starting with the things that they know first. For example, if you want to explain about Mount Mayon or Mayon Volcano in the Philippines, make sure you would say like, oh, in Japan, we have Mount Fuji. In the Philippines, we have Mount Mayon. Before I proceed to tip number nine, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you find value from this video. Tip number nine, practice using chopsticks. When I was one of the Genesis student participants way back 2010, uh, I was so embarrassed to eat on a plane with, by using the chopsticks and I couldn't pick the food. I was very hungry. My mouth was watering like, oh my God, but I need to eat with the chopsticks. And, and so, after nine years, 2019, I applied for this job and I need to eat using chopsticks again. So I did my best. And 2019, when I came back here as a teacher, I made sure that this won't happen again. Now, in your school lunch or in your lunch, uh, teachers would expect you to use the chopsticks. But of course, uh, if you prefer to use the spoon and fork for a while then that's fine but of course if you want to impress and you want to get their respect make sure you try using chopsticks or maybe if you are already good using chopsticks maybe if you're good using chopsticks then that will be great they would be happy to see you do that now tip number 10 practice your name in katakana in my assigned city oh actually town uh, i was asked to write my name in katakana maybe for three times you'll go to your gas company water company and your city or town although your there will be there will be a Japanese assisting you it would be best that you know also your katakana name when I also arrived in my assigned school I was again asked to write my name in katakana which is difficult if you don't know what katakana means also it would be beneficial to you to know the basic kanji of day month and year which will be in a form for your birthday or the, the kanji for the name. Now your first day at school would be very difficult because you don't have friends yet. I know you know, you would be speaking English, um, but most of them don't speak English. So you can only ask favor from like a JTE, which on the first day, you don't know them yet. Try other applications that, you could, that, that could help you learn Japanese. Of course, the Google Translate. Uh, Google Translate would be 70% accurate. <laughs> Make sure you have the internet ready from maybe Interact or IMTR because without that, you cannot use the Google Translate without the data. Although you can use it, but the whole context when you use it without the internet would be difficult. So those are the 10 tips that I could share to you while you wait for your flights uh, to Japan. Now, Minasan, I hope I can see you the soonest here in Japan. And of course, if you like this video, if you're getting value from this video, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. And of course, the like button. Now, if you also have friends that could benefit from this video, please. And <coughs> if you have friends that could benefit from this video, please do share this video to them. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.